Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Platinum Bullseye Batman figure. So before we take a look at Bullseye Batman, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with your standard DC Multiverse base. Up next, you get his data file. And if you want to read this, go ahead and pause this now. I do like that this actually tells what Detective Comics 241 is about and why Batman has this specific suit. So I think that's very cool. We don't get the same generic bio for Batman. Actually get a bio on Detective Comics 241. Up next, he comes with a set of fisted hands. And finally, he comes with accessory holding hands and a batarang. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So taking a look at this head sculpt, I think McFarlane Toys did a good job on making the deco look like the art in the comic, but the problem is they reused the Nightfall body mold, and I don't think this head sculpt accurately represents this at all. I actually think it would have been better if they would have used the Bat Manga head sculpt. So having these side by side, you can see that this head sculpt would definitely be a lot closer to the art instead of just reusing the Nightfall mold. So yeah, I do think they should have used this head sculpt repainted instead of the Nightfall one. I think that would have looked so much better. The giant bullseye on his chest does look good, but my main complaint is they didn't paint that all the way up. It just stops perfectly right here. And I feel like Batman, to have his torso lined up straight, kind of has to be like that. So then you get that deco that's broken up right there, so that does bother me a lot. I can probably paint over top of it, but it does suck that they stop the paint right there. I feel like he's slouching a little bit like this. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like he's slouching forward a little bit, having it like that and lined up. And if you have him standing up perfectly straight, then you get that break in the deco right there where the uh, bullseye isn't lined up. So that does bother me. He has a fantastic wired cape though. It's done in this, it's almost like a pearlescent kind of white with the bullseye on the back right there, and that looks really good. This cape in particular is very nice. It holds the shape very well when you're trying to pose it around. It just looks really good, especially if you kind of have him like that. That cape looks really good. And of course, you, you have to fiddle with it. You have to get it posed exactly the way you want it. But I just wanted to show a quick little example here in the video. But yeah, McFarlane Toys did a very awesome job on this fabric cape. I really love it. The shorts are done in black. I do wish you would have had some white shading right here because, as you can see in art, there should have been just a little bit of white right there. I think that would have looked good. So that's about all to go over with this figure. If you have any of the Nightfall Batman figures or any of the figures that use that mold, then you'll pretty much know what to expect from this. So let's go ahead and go over the articulation before we do some size comparisons. So he has a ball jointed head that can look up all the way. He can look down just a little bit. He can move his head side to side very nicely. He has shoulders that can move all the way out. They can spin all the way around. He has swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbows that can bend in all the way, wrists that can move up and down and spin all the way around, ab crunch that can move back all the way, he can crunch forward a little bit, he can move side to side up here and side to side down at the waist and all the way around when you combine both of them. He has hips that can do a complete split. He can kick forward very nicely. I especially love the leg articulation on this mold. He can kick back. You can actually get him doing that. Um, he has a swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knees that can bend back all the way. He has ankles that can move down all the way. Up all the way. Spin all the way around. And toe articulation that can move up all the way. So now let's do some size comparisons. So first up here he is next to the original blue Nightfall Batman figure. Here he is next to the Black Nightfall Batman figure. And finally, here he is next to Batmanga. This head sculpt definitely should have been on the Bullseye Batman mold. So overall, despite the flaws that it has, like the head sculpt not being quite accurate and the deco not lining up, I'd still recommend picking up because it's still a pretty cool figure. It's definitely not one that I thought McFarlane Toys would ever make. And it makes me wonder if eventually they'll do Rainbow Batman. That is a figure that I definitely want to see. I, I can't remember what all the colors were that Batman had. I know on the cover, I think he's wearing like a pink Batman suit. I know there was an orange one. I wonder if eventually we will get the Rainbow Batman suit on this mold. I think that would be very cool. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.